What's up fellow gamers, this is Pinterest and I can welcome you back to my channel. So today I decided to do a little bit that's a little more unorthodox. A lot of people have been requesting it and wanting to see exactly what my actual room and my setup with my little kind of makeshift YouTube studio looks like with all the things I have up there. So today I'm going to be showing you my setup of how I have everything set up in my kind of semi-budget setup to a room. So sit back, relax. And I will give you an idea of what I work with on a daily basis. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're basically going to be entering what I consider the man cave, which is my actual setup room and what I actually work with on a daily basis. You see, this is my room here, room tour. It's basically what I got going on here. So starting off, as you can see, it's an old house. I got some beat up walls around here. But just to start off, I just basically have a little bit of wall decor. Uh, it's a couple pieces here. And of course, the Cowboy Bebop poster because Cowboy Bebop is my favorite anime. I just love some Cowboy Bebop here. I just love just keeping it on the wall. It's a little bit of something to watch here. Uh, just starting off here, so we got, uh, basically we got a couple devices. We got the Amazon Fire uh, HD tablet the eight inch and then I got an old first generation iPad just here for you know I don't really use it a whole lot, a lot but it's just here in case I need it and just to have a couple of things up there I do a, a little bit of a uh, researching reading and stuff like that a little stereo speaker I got for a Christmas gift one day uh, just a little dusty and stuff like that but you know what I mean it's good sound it works and stuff like that a uh, box for my my actual PC which I'll show you in just a moment uh, my actual laptop that I got recently uh, a couple pieces a tripod that I have here um, that's my Dreamcast as a matter of fact I don't know if I can show you that but this is actually my actual Dreamcast Sega Dreamcast is kind of stuck in here that I, I don't really use all that much but I have it and keep it around here this is another part of a studio light that I just have back here so it's kind of more one of the many catch-alls in this room that I have right here. So for here, we're just gonna move over to the actual section where I keep all my games and everything like that. All right, so here is my gaming section. This is where I keep all of my gaming products, all of my media products and stuff like that. So we'll just stop for the very top. Uh, I got a couple of comic books. I got some older comic books. Me and my younger brother used to collect some of the amazing Spider-Mans, uh, a couple uh, Spider-Man, 2099 stuff like that uh come with old maximum carnages i don't know if you guys know how much some of these are worth or something like that but these are relatively old we've had them for quite a while but i just keep them here just for nostalgia reasons going down here we actually have our playstation 3 titles here so this is where i keep most of my playstation 3 some of my playstation 2 games also my a few of my playstation Vita games up here so just looking around here obviously we got army of two i just streamed that on my youtube oh excuse me i streamed it on twitch and facebook so if you haven't followed me there hit me up on twitch and facebook links in the description down below uh a couple of nice games persona 4 golden very very awesome title so I have that out there that feels a copy very much. So Freedom Wars as well, which is uh, very good. I uh, also have a couple of things. Red Dead Redemption. Uh, be surprised if you have this for PlayStation 3, the online servers are still working. Actually crazy. It's just, just crazy that it's working like that. So it's crazy. This here is one of my favorite games of all time. I'm a Killzone fan to the death. It's just the best shooter ever made. I don't care what anybody says. I love Killzone. It's got some mass effects. Hit back here is the Uncharted Dual Pack, Uncharted 1, 2 up here. A couple other titles here, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, some good stuff. This game right here. Oh my gosh. I'm not even going to get started because I can go an hour and a half talking about Arkham City. There's lots of Tekkens. Uh, a couple PlayStation 2 games. Fight for NY is one of my favorites. Yeah, I like that. Got the Warriors tag term is real fun. And then just going down some of my PlayStation 4 titles. I got so many. This is just a physical collection. Let's not even talk about digital. I got Ah, come on. This is Dragon's Crowns Pro. This is a still book of edition. Which one basically all my still books. Uh Fallout 76, which I have two of them for some reason. Battlefield 5, still book. 
you know, uh, just other other things. Fallout 3, Risk of Rain. This is an excellent game for you to play that. Risk of Rain is excellent. Uh, just some other stuff, UFC, you know, all my different things. Some of these stuff is still in the package. I never, I never even played Tomb Raider. It's in the package. Mutant Year Zero is, oh, ooh, that's so awesome. Slate Aspire is, okay, I'm going to get started with that. Uh, Anthem, <laughs> Anthem, Dying Light, Watch Dogs. A lot of the PlayStation uh, exclusives are right in this area here. Shadow War or the Tom Clancy games got up over here. And a couple of things. So it's got a lot of my, my PlayStation 4 stuff here. Uh, down here, it's my PlayStation 1 titles, old, old titles. A lot of other stuff. Also, my Dreamcast games. Now, if you know it back in the day, used to be able to kind of, you know, do a little bit of uh, burn, burn, burn of the Dreamcast titles. So I have a lot of that stuff. Uh, just some of the PlayStation 1 titles I have. Some of them I brought from GameStop. Some of them I got from friends. It's a lot of different stuff. It's too much to kind of go over specifically. But uh, here's just a catch-all for all like my old accessories. As you can see, I got like things like the old Nokia. Leave a like on the video, man. Let me know that you have one of these old things right here. I still got two of them. Me and my user, my younger brother used to run these. If you know what this is right here, you can know... Well, obviously you can see that what it is, but if you remember the one of these, let me know if you had fun with one of these, man. Cause uh, yeah, I still got it up in here. He even got an old. Well, that's mad, and I don't care about that. Old game genie with Street Fighter Turbo, getting all the codes up in there. It's all beat up and stuff, but you know, I have that up there just for nostalgic reasons. Tekken Hybrid. I got as a, a gift when my younger brother got that for me uh, years ago. And uh, I keep that for nostalgia purposes too. Just kind of hold that there. So that's really like my whole section of gaming. Got a couple figurines. Of course, you know, I had to have the Hellgas Soldier because kills on his life. So I have that uh, soldier there going down to the Jason figure that I have, that I've had for years. It's got air in it from the top side. So it's all, you know, weird looking but it's unopened and sealed and everything like that and I just keep that around and stuff like that so Final Fantasies uh, Final Fantasy 8 because it's my favorite you know Squall Renoa uh, you got Cypher then you got Laguna uh, up here it's just another figure it's just a little collection so for here we're just going to move on to my product wall makeshift product wall here all right guys so this is my wall o product this is pretty much all the products that i pretty much buy for review or i've added to my setup here as you can see it's a, a just a group of stuff mainly here starting here it's just my uh my studio mic and newer stuff so real budget condenser microphone i first started off adding that i used to use uh that had and uh, it's really, really good for, for people to start off if you want to have that whole condenser mic thing going. Uh, but I had that. Obviously, I had some things, you know, going on here. This is uh, the PlayStation uh, back button attachment uh, box here. Uh, old PlayStation Chaser for Triton. Uh, the PDP Legend, Sound, Legend of Sounds of Justice collection. I actually still have that going on. Uh, the Ben Glue Mice. I have to have a review of this actual mouse right here. It's uh, on, actually in the uh, on the YouTube channel. I might leave a card above to see if uh, you know if I can link that to that. I also just did a review of the HDMI video capture. This is actually this is so good. If you're on a budget, you want to capture video, and you can't afford Elgato, go that route for sure. Um, what else do I have up here? Um, just a little Signia mouse. Uh, you know the Havat. This is actually the headset stand. Uh, I'll show you in a moment uh, the Blue Yeti, uh, which is also did a review of that. Level 40 PDP gaming headset, which is a review of my channel on that. A lot of these were reviews that I actually had going on here. Um, going to the middle section, you can see this is kind of like my pro, my uh, pro Corsair area where I have a lot of my Corsair products. This is my current keyboard I use, the K68 Corsair here. My two headsets here. So I have the Void Pro, uh, the HS60, just up there, the Elgato that I kind of did a review, digging on it a little bit. Uh, system RAM, you know, uh, hard drive spaces. Uh, going down to my mouse, Corsair Iron Claw. A uh, couple of lavalier mics, stuff like that. Uh, 
we got the little aura box so i'll show y'all in a minute i did a review of that as well and then here i got some logitech items and stuff like that um c920 uh what's this the other c and c615 something like that i i can't remember what it is uh my speakers here um this is actually the blue snowball that i have as well uh, just a, a bunch of little stuff, man. So from here, we're just going to go ahead and go. I'll show you what my console setup in this room looks like. All right, guys. So this is my actual console setup. This is where I catch some of my Netflix and all that stuff and game when I'm not on my actual computer setup. So this is my Shark 55-inch uh, television that I've had for years. I got it from a, a, a... I actually brought it from a gift from a family member. And, uh, you know, it just works real well for me, everything there. So we're just going to go take a look here. This is the PDP. It's a little dusty, man. I haven't really used it in a long time. This is the Sound of Justice, uh, also made by PDP. Sound of Justice Lady J Edition uh, wireless headset for the PlayStation 4, which is I used as my headset for PlayStation 4 for a while. A little decorative kind of, you know, shape light for the PlayStation. You've probably seen these all over the place. One of my mini controllers, camouflage controllers for PlayStation. Um, just a couple of games, obviously The Last of Us 2, which I need to finish. Uh, and you got a little bit of a RGB light on the back of the television here. Rage 2. Soul Calibur 6, which is obviously these are here and not on my shelf. So on the back side is where I keep my other controllers. So I have a total of about six or seven. So I keep these back here to keep them charged, keep them, uh, you know what I mean, always back here. Even though I don't have that many people to the game on, it's always just good to have extra controllers. I keep it behind the television here. We got my dusty, dusty, dusty air. Oh my God! Look at all that. It's disgusting. It's my dusty PlayStation 4. It's a original model, not a pro model. Um, I have that there. And then I have my five terabyte uh, hard drive, which is just where I save all my games to. So I have that there. This is my PlayStation 3, which is also dusty. It's all get out. These are my controllers. It's another PlayStation 4 controller that I linked to the PlayStation 3. It's original PlayStation 3 controller. PlayStation Vita uh, stand here. Uh, this is my arcade stick. This is the WWE All-Star arcade stick, which is a legacy stick that works for PlayStation 4. So I play all my fighting games and all that stuff on this stick here. Um, I also have, which I won't come around the side of this thing. It's just too dirty, but I have also a PlayStation 2 here as well. Uh, Legacy PlayStation 2. I keep that to the side. I don't play it a whole lot, but I have it and it still works uh, I just uh, don't play it as much and don't have room to hook it up So but I do have that as well and that's all part of my setup for the television and my uh, Yeah, so from here we're gonna go ahead and go and check out my PC setup all right guys, so here finally we're on my PC setup here. This is my workstation. This is my battle station from the PC. We're gonna kind of start from the bottom on up. So let's go down to the computer here. So right here, this is a CyberPower pre-built gaming PC that I added some things to. So this is my CyberPower GMA BST, uh, 3000 BST. So it's the Best Buy version CyberPower PC. So, you may want to know why I'm rocking in this PC. Uh, this PC is actually a Ryzen build. This has the Ryzen 2600X uh, chip in it. Uh, it's also rocking a uh, RX 580 4 gig version in here. It's a 16 gigs of uh, R 16 bit of the RGB Corsair Vengeance Pro RGB RAM at 3200 megahertz. Uh, kind of a Cooler Master stock PC cooler RGB fan in the back. Um, it's rocking uh, a two terabyte hard drive. It's got a uh, 128 gig SSD. And I also added a NVMe inside of this thing, uh, which is the 256 gig of that. Uh, 450 watt power supply, uh, basic cooler fans and all that. And then of course the RGB there. So that's what my main workhorse that does all my work and all the jobs for me as I create that content for you. So it's relatively nice and it's decent little PC and it works real well so now moving up to my actual setup here so where do we start uh, let's start with this middle monitor so this is an LG 24 inch 
IPS display, 1080p, 75 hertz monitor I got for Best Buy. Uh, this is my workhorse. This is what does, um, you know, all my editing. I do all my video gaming from here, and I do all my my gameplay stuff from here. And to accompany it, I have two 24-inch uh, monitors from Spectry. Uh, excuse me, 21-inch Spectry models. Um, basically, 60 hertz model uh, panels. Real cheap little. Uh, TN panels, I believe, uh, from Amazon that I got to kind of supplement this setup here that I have. So those are my monitors there. Uh, let's start just coming from the left. So from here, this is where I have my Void Pro RGB wireless headset. These are my my headsets of choice. It's what I use when I want to game and talk uh, to people on there. Uh, going down to the headset stand. Now this headset stand is the Havat RGB uh, gaming headset stand. This thing is awesome. I have a actual review on this headset stand on my video. I leave a uh, uh, card up above so you can check that out if you haven't really checked this out. This is better. This is so good. This is I wouldn't even suggest a headset stand for some of the bigger names. Check that out for sure, man. I got that. I rock that on a daily. This puppy right here is my cheap Chinese version kind of with the K50 one-handed mechanical keyboard. It works really, really well. I also have a review on this particular keyboard on my channel as well. I'll try to leave a link of a card up above and uh, maybe a link in the description for this. This is uh, excellent. I use this to game strictly to game on and it just it saves me so much time and effort. And I, can, I can just beat on it. It has blue switches. It's just got nice RGBs, good lighting, and everything just works real well with it. Going here, this is my baby. This is my Corsair K68 RGB mechanical keyboard. This is with the Cherry MS Red switches. It's a Corsair branded uh, keyboard. Um, this thing is just awesome. It's spill proof underneath uh, this, this this whole uh, area. It's got like a little plastic to keep you know from getting water if you drop spill or anything anything on there. Uh, it is wired. It's just uh, this is just not excellent. I type on it. I, I use it for everything. It's probably one of my most coveted items on my setup. I love this keyboard. It's just excellent. Um, so going back over to the left, I just recently got this. This is the Logitech uh, G300S. This is a gaming mouse, but I use it as just my main daily kind of mouse here. Um, you know that I use. I'm gonna probably do a review on it soon. Uh, it's just the basic mouse that I use. A uh, really, really nice design. Great mouse that I add to my setup, and uh, I use it for my my daily, uh, you know, task. I just I basically do all my stuff and my editing and just my web browsing and stuff like that for it. And uh, this puppy here, which I used to use for everything, but now this is strictly gaming. This is the Corsair Ironclaw RGB wireless gaming mouse. Now this is my second baby over here. This is what I use to get those sweet headshots. When you see Ventures on that PC, beasting dudes, it's because of this big old boy here. Look at that big old, big old, big old gut on it, a big old booty on this thing. This thing is uh, awesome. You can see it has 90 million buttons all over it. All that's great. The scroll wheel's really nice and large. It's RGB on the bottom. It's got all these different settings with the sli uh, slip technology. The course is the technology, which is sub one millisecond. I'm, I have a review on this. I'm going to try to leave in the description or leave in the cards above as well. Excellent mouse, very excellent. I'm going to my uh, Mac. This is a basically a cheaper Vixing RGB gaming uh, gaming mat just to sit everything on. It's got RGB. It's got multiple modes settings as you can see. You can change all that up. You can. You know get different settings different modes and stuff like that this is my mic it's the mic that i prefer to use this is my blue yeti 10th anniversary edition uh blue blue yeti from um best buy the uh sunlight sunlight blue or sun sun sky blue something like that uh but this is my yeti this is why i usually do my commentaries where i usually do my live streams on twitch and facebook every Saturday at noon central time. I use this to do all my live streams connected to a newer boom arm that I have coming down, coming around to the side here that's connected to there. This is just simply a uh, 
a um, Fitbit watch that I use actually for work just because you know I need like a watch for work or what have you I have a review of that as well on on in the descriptions I'll leave that I'll try to leave a card up above for that a set of PlayStation coasters that I keep on my desk um, this was a gift for my wife from uh, I think a previous birthday or something like that that I usually leave out if I'm drinking a beer or if I just got like maybe a, a soda or maybe some water or whatever I'm drinking and just kind of lay one of these out um, my workstation and just kind of just do that while I'm doing some editing or something like that. These are my Logitech speakers. This is the, you probably seen these speakers wherever. I think they're called the, the Z200 Logitech basic speakers. They work real well. They just match the setup. It's, you know, pretty decent and, you know, I mean, it's real decent back there. Here is the Devoom Aura Box. This is just kind of like a decorative kind of deal here. This is like a little decorative uh, box here. I also have a review of that on my channel. You can check that out as well. I'll try to leave a link in the description. It's basically just a box that does different graphic designs that you just want to keep on there. Just kind of, you know, give yourself a little bit of desk design if you like it. You know what I mean? All types of different stuff. So links in the description for that and, uh, and try to leave a card up above. And also going up the top. In the mention, I got two webcams. This here is actually the PlayStation 4 camera uh, with a little privacy uh, deal flip up. So, you know, you never know who's spying on you. You got to keep that privacy on there. So that's connected to our PlayStation 4, um, which I use this monitor as well to actually get that PlayStation 4 uh, feed there. And here is the Logitech C920, the ever so popular streaming camera that everyone uses, which also with a privacy cam as well, just cause you know, you gotta have it. So I currently have that out there. And that's what I used to stream my uh, Twitch and Facebook on Saturdays with a little kind of like bendable little light that I use to give me a little bit extra lighting here. Hitting in the back, we got the Elgato HD60S. This is what I connect my, my consoles to and get uh, gameplay from. Uh, you know for as far as capturing consoles when I go to stream or I need to do videos for and I got that kind of sitting in the back as well So other than that, I think I covered everything here and then of course just a nice little studio light Which I use to kind of get more lighting uh, You know coming down You know into this room here a couple of wall decorations under nightmares you see but other than that basically that is going to be my setup that's basically everything i have and what i work with on a daily basis you know if you guys have any questions or want to see more products that i haven't reviewed yet leave a comment down below let me know and you can also follow me on my discord adventures the gamer link is down in the description we can talk more about my setup things you want to add to your setup or just had general questions or just want to chat you hit me up there and until next time guys thank you for watching and remember to keep that flame going inside for gaming peace out and we will see you in the next one